talking about public school and um you know western colleges um i don't understand how people in the so-called conscious community still push college on their um you know children their offspring like will push this narrative just to go to their colleges and create this big old debt you are encouraging your children to accumulate debt in this reality the average student loan debt is sixty thousand dollars and like most black women are like eighty thousand to maybe a hundred thousand dollars in debt like bro like and this is black excellence like this is y'all y'all say that going to their jesuit funded founded fucking colleges and schools i'm sorry let me stop cussing so much but i i get too passionate about this i'm just angry because i look at everyone and i see everyone has like cognitive dissonance or some like some kind of mental like inhibition or maybe like a mental disorder like in our community like they don't see that they're, they're not seeing the full picture like y'all letting the enemy educate you okay and even if you go to a historically black college or university okay even if you go there okay and you get educated by a black person they their curriculum what what they are being taught comes from a jesuit or pale skin it comes from a pale skin the people who were enslaved or were of servitude to a, a certain group of pale skins okay they were the moors the moors from europe okay and they were um of servitude to the jesuits or the today uh yeah okay and these people wrote history rewrote history um they are in control of pretty much everything out here um they created uh this public school the general education board in the united states it was created by john d rockefeller okay and frederick t gates um look these people up look up john d rockefeller okay um he was a snake oil salesman he did a lot of in the late 1800s early 1900s okay in the turn of 20th century he was doing a lot please do some research on john d rockefeller i'm really upset because my people are saying that they're woke enlightened and all this conscious but they are following the jesuit script that the jews are giving them okay and they're playing this african stolen african uh victim role like that you created for you the jesuits created this role and y'all are playing it and, and y'all are not y'all not seeing the full fucking full picture okay i'm talking about the indigenous americans okay like i know about the black Moors and all that the irish the irish blacks they were brought here um to the americas they were the servants to the and they were freed and they were promised land and all that 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 history is known but you know some history was omitted <laughs> rewrote history okay and that is really omitted too i mean we don't learn that we don't learn about the moors really in you know public school like that we don't we don't really but yes they don't they don't want people to know that you know the in there were brown europeans okay indigenous brown europeans they don't want people to know that indigenous people existed on all continents you know brown people and it out of africa come on people there's no proof outside of the lucy um skeleton bones or whatever lucy or whatever and lucy is a primate okay they tell you those are primate bones and i don't understand why our pe my people hold on to this to this okay is really an insult because they're saying that lucy is the first black woman and they're saying the first black woman was a primate there's no real proof of evolution okay they don't have enough fossils they don't have enough bones to prove evolution 
So I don't understand why my people hold on to this and use this narrative and use this out of Africa thing. It, it's really retarded. We need to let it go. It's really an insult. I don't come from a primate. I don't come from a monkey. Maybe there are humans here or whatever that have, you know, monkey DNA due to gene splicing. And I'm not saying they're pale. It, it don't have to be a skin color thing because I see a lot of melanoids that do have monkey-like features and act animalistic. So... And they come from the other side. They don't come from over here. But um, I do see that, okay? And I do see that there's some people that have, you know, they have pig-like features and dog-like features and all that. I do believe that maybe animal was put into the human genome and gene splicing was a thing. But I do not believe in evolution because there's no, there's none of proof. They haven't gave me enough proof, and I don't believe I come from a monkey, and my ancestors came from monkeys, so yeah. Black excellence should not be li linked to any of this college shit. All of, all of our people are becoming super debt slaves, going to their colleges, going, and then going to their public schools, you get indoctrinated with all this and lies you get lies told about your history okay all of us wasn't slaves okay yes you know um there were moors that were brought here okay they were they were of a servitude to the jesuits but the there were indigenous blacks aboriginal blacks here not all of them were rounded up some blacks here were always free and, you know, had got into this sharecropping contract or some kind of weird contract or something with the U.S. government. And, you know, or, you know, they enjoyed farming and got money from that. Okay, the story, our history has been taught to us all distorted. And a lot of things were flipped and reversed. Okay. That's a whole nother video for another time. I'll make a whole video about Tartaria, mud flood. There's a lot of documentation proving the mud flood that happened in the 1300s. And possibly another f mud flood that happened in the 1600s. I think that has something to do with the Ark of the Covenant. I do believe that thing did exist too. Okay? And I think it was a like an antique tech, ancient technology from, you know, the old world or, you know... Or, ancient civilization this is not the um this is not the most mm -hmm. technically advanced civilization okay this is not the first technically this is not the first advanced civilization like, there's look the ancients had technology that we could not even imagine and i think a lot of their stuff that they had were was biodegradable and you know um they used hemp for a lot of things you know the chinese used hemp for paper and probably i think they did build their houses and buildings out of it that's why a lot of these old tartarian buildings have lasted so long like thousands of years okay and we still use these buildings today um you know for uh government buildings they use um these buildings like um the capitol building you really think these horse and buggy pilgrims built these buildings that we see in our historical district in downtown do y'all really believe that horse and buggy <laughs> like come on y'all too afraid to jump down the damn rabbit hole and let go of the stuff you was taught in these schools like you're not really broke until you deprogram until you <laughs> realize that everything they taught you was <laughs> lie you're not woke and you're not woke until you realize that maybe the people around me everybody in our, my reality might be a little slow might be kind of stupid might be kind of retarded might be a little slow because i mean i accepted it and it is what it is motherfuckers got vaccinated for the fucking common cold in 2020 if that's not enough for y'all to realize motherfuckers are retarded out here 
and there's a new pneumonia vaccine. These elites are laughing. They, you know, y'all know about the new pneumonia vaccine that they're pushing on people. Now, I thought vaccinations, vaccines were only for like the the viruses. Now, they they redefining everything. Okay, they redefined what the common cold was. Okay, I can't say the trigger words. Because I don't want this video to get taken down. But C-19, all that, okay? The the thing that was named after the beer. Y'all got vaccinated for the common f***ing cold. So, like, if you're not... Stop being in denial. Everybody's f***ing retarded. Okay, they dumbed down America. They dumbed down America. Okay, here's a warning. I'm finna go in. I'm sorry, I tried my best to edit out and bleep out all the swear words but um after this point i really go in and i get really passionate so if you are sensitive and hate swearing just exit out now to the fucking point where motherfuckers lined up rolled up their sleeves about three four times for the common cold and now getting vaccines for pneumonia getting vaccines for uh the hiv and herpes and then y'all not y'all act like fucking uh side effects won't come from this shit short term happens and you'll get long you'll get a some type of reaction long term like your body the last defense it'll use is to use your skin to detox so this mpox pox shit that's a fucking um vaccine reaction right there okay um that shit is trying to get out of these motherfuckers skin okay it's causing these bulls or whatever but okay Y'all say it's sexually transmitted. Okay, these motherfucking, you know, um, rainbow people, they, they, they believe whatever is said on the news. And not just what is said on the news. These people are the most gullible people on the planet. Um, they believe anything an authority figure says. These people have a mental disorder. Come on. So they'll line up and get whatever injection is recommended they are the number one people that will go get tested every time because they feel guilty and they are promiscuous okay both the men and women who are in that rainbow community they're all promiscuous and they go to the health department like probably every week and they will get the recommended injections the penicillin injections they'll get the va uh, hiv vaccine and herpes vaccine to prevent getting that because they think they're doing the best for their their health or whatever you know and they're you know constantly guilty and mm -hmm. feeling like they're dirty and whatever because they're doing what they're doing okay so yeah um and i'm saying this out of like you know not I was a young person, okay? I was young once. I was younger. I'm 26 now. I'm not... I'm talking like I'm, like, fucking 40. But, I, I mean, I am wiser than my age, you know? I, I don't, like... This is just a new vessel for me. I mean, I've been here for, like, thousands of years, okay? I'm not... This, this reincarnation shit ain't new to me. Like, I'm not a baby soul. That's why I'm not falling for the bullshit. But, any whore, um... When I was younger, I was I had a curious face, so I know I know how these um, rainbow people think, and if they actually detox their body of all that uh, fluoridated tap toxic tap water that got fucking twelve different chemicals, including astrazine, and then if they detox their body of all these vaccines that they're getting, they might not get those gay thoughts. But that's a whole nother video for another day. I'm a bigot. I'm so fucked up. I'm homophobic because I think that the government is causing this. I know that gay people existed before this, but not at this uh, not at this rate. Okay, statistically, not at this rate. Um, like everybody's gay for clout right now, and then there's like, yeah. So, the statistics has went up with um, how many gay and trans people are out here. Um, no hate to the gay community. I love y'all. Y'all cool, whatever. But we gotta realize that the government do not give a fuck about us, okay? The 
just humans and they don't give a fuck about us. We, we're dealing with some otherworldly beings or whatever or demonic force, okay? Like, you know, I want to say I'm crazy, but it is what it is. We're being poisoned all right, through our food. I mean, it's getting harder and harder to live out here. They're increasing the uh, cost of living and rent. They're pushing a lot of people out of their homes, but everybody want to stay blind to this reality. Like, so many people are homeless right now, okay? These third world countries are going through it right now, like, so bad. Like, so many other countries, their uh, dollar crash, like, Venezuela and all these uh, countries and, you know, Latin America, Belize and all that. Their economy already crashed. Like third world countries, most of their economies already crashed, and they're like, some people are living. Uh, they're eating out trash and fucking killing, killing. This like some third world countries are probably purging right now while we're like sitting here. But yeah, they're pushing us out of our houses right now too. So, like, uh, middle. Middle class, they're not really feeling it right now, but yeah, the low, you know, low income people, they're feeling it. Um, people that make it like thirty, thirty thousand right now, thirty thousand a year. I mean, living paycheck to paycheck. On top of if you're like paying off some student loans and shit like that, like, goddamn. Everybody acting like everything's hunky dory. Biden's doing a good job, isn't he? Well, let me stop talking about Biden. He's a puppet. Just like Trump's, Trump's a puppet. They all were puppets, okay? Like, I'm gonna stop acting like dude's really doing anything. He's just a, a face. And he's just doing a horrible job at, like, relay, relaying the speeches. It's not entertaining like Trump. At least he was, like, charismatic and, you know, cracked some jokes, but, you know. They're all puppets. All puppets. Yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad, man. It's really sad. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really going to feel me for real, though, because, you know, a lot of people fell for the okie doke and got like 60000 to like maybe up to $100,000 in debt and just, you know, they're in too deep in this illusion. And. You know, they're just going to keep on pushing that RBG out of Africa. All that bullshit. All that bullshit they were taught in these HBCUs and all that. No. So just basically public school. So I don't understand. Y'all need to y'all need to find a new label for yourselves because y'all not enlightened. Y'all not woke. You're not. You're not. You're not. You don't see the full. You don't see the full picture like indigenous people looked like me looked like me brown skin afro okay indigenous do not mean african african africans are indigenous to their land like i am indigenous to my land my ancestors told me who i am my grandma is still alive my grandfather is still alive they told me who i am they told me that they my grandfather he's blackfoot my grandma's cherokee my I have census records that go all the way back to the 1700s with my family on my mother's side and on my father's side. So, yes, and all you people have to do is just search your census records. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy and spit in a tube and send that off to Ancestry.com because they're just going to send you some bullshit back. They can't do nothing with that little 0.01% of DNA M dna they get from your spit so yeah they'll just send you whatever the fuck they want to send you okay if you you got to fill out a form anyway and if you click race whatever box they'll give you uh, some generic little mapping of your dna saying that you come from kenya a little sprinkle of kenya sierra leone a little bit of uh gambia in there and then they'll say that oh we see that you also have a little um little irish a little little german you got a little white in you so you're a little yes 
melting pot America, your, your little mutt that probably happened during slavery. Your great, 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 great grandma was raping, whatever, okay? All that bullshit. Yeah, okay? Don't be lazy and just spin the tube because that 0.01% of DNA, they ain't gonna really tell you nothing much. Really about that. You just got, you got to do, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the names. You got to figure out the names of your ancestors and look for the census records. And your census records will tell you if your ancestors were, you know, of servitude to some people. Okay. And if so, okay. You found that you, your people were enslaved and you were brought, probably brought for somewhere. But the people who were of servitude or enslaved, they were brought from England with these people or from um, Ireland or from Spain or France okay so it's they were the Moors those were the only I, I believe technically Africans that were brought here okay I'm not denying that history whatsoever like that's proven I mean that there's documentation of that they want to reveal that but actual West Africans like fresh out the jungle Africans I don't believe that motherfuckers, they took that route, that voyage, that three, four month voyage, thousands of miles to get some fresh out of the jungle Africans that don't know none about cleaning, don't know none about farming in America, don't know none about that, all the way from Africa to come serve and them, okay? There were already brown people here that they could manipulate to serve them and then you know the wars in england that were going on around that time they omit it from history um the moors lost their power so they used they mainly used them to come and clean in their house they were the house okay and they used the indigenous here to farm for them okay because we knew the land so there you have it okay and that's why they treated them so well too and these house Negroes went on to create these HBCUs and became the Boule Greek Letter Society. Um, the boys, he wasn't indigenous American. The boys, he was a descendant of the uh, Moors. Most Moors are um, rich, okay? So, like, that's the thing. If you're not... If you're not already linked in, like, you know, Oprah Winfrey and all that, you're you're not really a not a, a black and more. Um, cause they actually <laughs> Jews help them. Okay? And they help the Jews. Okay? The black and moors, they still have somewhat of power, but you know, then it's just not Yeah. Alright. I don't know what the art boule means. It's like the advisor to the king they serve the they serve the elite okay that's pretty much what it means and you can look up the definition i just don't have it on me like i can i have videos on my youtube channel about this multiple videos about this topic but you know it's not going anywhere because my ip address has been shadow banned for like since 2018 honestly so even if i make new accounts even if i get a new phone make a new account with a new email, with a new name, the shit will get shadow banned. I guess they have the facial recognition stuff on there or something. They just always know it's me, or you know, they just they're tracking my location anyway. Even if I have it turned off and a VPN on my phone, yeah. But um, since 2018, I have not been able to peek past uh, 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, um, my most recent YouTube channel, which was taken down, um, 20, into 2021, it only had up to, like, 600, 600 subscribers, and they took it down from there, and then, like, no, sorry, my new channel only got, like, 50 subscribers, which I'm happy with. Any organic subscriber I get, I'm happy, you know, I'm happy that, you know, somebody's listening and my message is getting out there, I mean whatever but you know the shadow banning is real okay and they're only propping up you know the agents the boule greek society they're only propping them up and they're the only ones that are getting the views they're the only ones that are being listened to and they're gonna always push this out of africa
okay? Like, it's always just going to be that. And they're going to be the, always going to be the leaders of our fucking movement. Mm, they infiltrated our movement in the 60s and turned it into like that fucking, you know, civil rights, whatever. And the only rights we got pretty much is to have relations with these pale skins. Okay, that's all we really got out of that. Um, without being lynched, I guess, you know, um, uh, you know, Martin Luther King had his wet dream and, you know, fulfilled his little, yeah, his, yeah, his dream. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> so desegregation really didn't help us whatsoever. We should have stayed segregated and we should have pushed for our sovereign state within America. They want